third part is a short 18 minute clip by Brian Murphy. He has it in several languages. If you, if this, all these episodes is too much, if Anne's too much, um, brother Alexis is too much, he has an 18 minute clip. He's short and sweet on how he has come to, uh, that Benedict never uh, resigned. Now, I think we will start um, taking a look at Brother Alexis, his notes. I have several of his links. You can come always at my website, karen-early.com, and um, you'll see the full write-up there. There are seven parts to Brother Alexis' historical and canonical study, and each part is roughly 30 minutes in duration. Again, thank you, Jorge, for shutting the church down, letting me have that uh, necessary time to do this kind of research. Thank you, thank you. The follow following link is to Brother Alexis' website, where he writes extensively about Benedict being the rightful pope and Bogoglio being an anti-pope. And he, too, had to do a mea culpa. He, too, had been asked by people um, for a And he, too, had kind of went with thought leaders or he was distracted with other work. It wasn't until he sat down and take, took a look at it for his own self and he realized, my dear, my dear, my dear, what is going on? So I encourage you, do the same. Do the same for you. So let's recall again um, code 332.2. If it happens that the Roman pontiff resigns, so I, I I have read this code earlier in a prior episode, but I really we're going to come delve deep into it now. If it happens that the Roman pontiff resigns his office, 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 munis, it is required for validity that the resignation is made freely and properly manifested, but not that is accepted by anyone. Benedict issues a declaratio. It is a pronouncement of something. Part two. Succinctly presents the three errors of... Oh, yeah. His part two. Six, um, so we're going through his different parts of his video series. Presents the three errors of sentimentality. Feelings over reason, modernism, and I had a prior shows on this as well. Not in conjunction with his work. It's just uh, ties together. Vital eminence, religious sentiment, nominalism, words do not have intrinsic meaning to objective reality. With these potent errors, truth is up for grabs, and consequently, what Benedict says can be whatever one wants it to mean, as opposed to what he actually said. Because the words don't really mean anything, so words can be whatever anyone tells you tells you they mean. Contract law hinges on this precise point. Which words are used and how they are defined. Defining terms, you know, I hammer on that all the time. Defining terms is crucial to a rational discussion. Declaring, resigning, renouncing, munis, ministerium, substantial error are precise terms and ideas. The term renounce and resign is defined and understood compared to Latin renounce to proclaim, retro to do backwards, and do when accepted an office separate, so you separate a self from an office. Resignare is to take a seal off a document, so you take a seal off a document as Pope. So resignare, take back a sign or seal, it's a metaphor. Um, some ambiguity, but to renounce is to take back your announcement. So it's a bit more precise description of an action. And 1917 code uses renounce. Renounce requires a verbal act in accord with canon law that we understand because we agree with the words used and not just physical gestures. John Paul did not renounce the papacy because he could no longer do the things he previously could do because of advanced Parkinson's. Brother Alexis impacts the terms declaration, which is what Benedict did, renunciation, and resignation. Brother also reads the declaration littered with 40 errors. 40 errors. Benedict is no fool. Uh, brother, so the question is, why does it have so many errors? Where were, where were the people around him? What was going on in his mind? 
brother has a fantastic grasp of Latin, which parallels Anne Barnhart's distinction of newness and ministerium. Declaratio, declaration, statement of fact, has no weight in canon law. I will offer a papal mass next Wednesday at three as a declaration. When Benedict came out on the balcony, he indicated something to the effect that he will not be Pope. He does not use the terms of resignation or renouncement. Benedict did not follow up with his prior indication that he would renounce the papacy on February 28, 28, 2013 at 8 p.m., but rather I am no longer Pope, but remain in capacity of praying. This is not a renunciation. A significant error in Benedict's Declaratio is his statement that he received the papacy. Okay, let us stop there because we want to pick up. We're going to be heading into another um, uh, significant error. To the next time, my friends. Uh, Fides Adratio.